Hey guys, so I received my Scott board. Um, that was kind of an experience, but now problem I'm having. It was working fine, and then I did forward and backwards, and the Fox box literally died on me. It died. Do I recommend it? After this experience, I don't recommend Fox box. It's dead. Um, so I'm in Korea, and I had to order a bunch of stuff. And I just go, decided to go with something that worked for me in the past. Uh, Fubski Dual 6.6. .6. It's 100 amps. That one's only 60 amps. My th thought, the reason why the uh, Fox box broke was because I had it set at the maximum 60 amps, which I suppose support at 60 amps continuous. But I was doing forward and backward, and I think somehow it made it just killed it. Um, I think also since I am bypassing bms that could be another reason maybe it spiked to like 100 amps or something i mean e even then it should support it but it died so i bought something this will support it fully i soldered everything in the hotel here uh and i got an anti-spark switch that way you know um i can this this is supports uh basically roll to start and also will turn off automatically and there's uh, i've tested everything working you can see i can turn it on and turn it off so i just gotta swap this back in a uh, pretty easy process it's, that's what we've been working on the last whole week because the fox box died it was just working fine and it just died so pff, i don't know if i recommend this anymore yeah anyway i'm gonna try to get that uh 6.6 .6. but fox box died on me Unfortunately, I don't know if it's because I don't have anti-spark, but uh, it just died on me. It doesn't power on, unfortunately. I mean, I just don't recommend it since the company is not even around. Uh, maybe use MakerX. I might try that route also, but um, let me go ahead and swap this in. I should have more power anyways with the Flipski. Uh, have a great day.